On the wicked who will rain fiery coals and burning sulfur, a scorching wind will be their lot. Palm 11.6. Isaiah's prophecy needed a rewrite. Scientists speculated, uncovered the air between his robes, called it ozone, Greek for to smell or to rewind, meaning we have been looking up and imagining holes above us since before we could name them, like hurt or stars or halogens or an ancient Dead Sea belching warnings, meaning the skeptics see no irony in denying God's word. Before that, there was Zeus, the hiss lingering behind his thunderbolts, a gaseous outline of his rage or lust. There's little difference between the two. Homer described both as sulfur. There won't be a sunrise, they said. No problem, we said. Build a bigger skyline and hang a sodium-powered chandelier, fit for tomorrow's bylines. We'll adapt quicker each time. What's a sun but an embrace you can't put a price on? What's a hole above us when there's a hole in us? Besides, didn't we throw away the fridges, the rusted cans, abandoned our aerosols with the glee of a child running through a parking lot, relearning the color green until it stood for more than we could understand? Now we're supposed to vote for a color? Imagine us, tiptoed and wobbling, edging along a skin-tight brink, the Mayans said it would be all over by 2012, and we're still here, I think. We've seen the end of the world, trained for it, five seasons of The Walking Dead, and a lifetime of young adult fiction under my belt. Earns us a right to say, not me, not us. Que sera, que sera, whatever will be, will be. Or let frost glisten behind our eyelids, a crop pick dry and the rise and fall of tides like a collapsed lung. Spill a life's worth. Drown our neighbors in it. Across a blue blanket, once known as ocean, a tribe's language dies in its mouth. Morning papers say waste has washed up on the coastline. And I don't know if they mean plastic or flesh, or which one came first. Here's to the crude surging through our veins, staining an Etihad Airways shirt, until the planes on our chest drip into pockets, stain a banknote or two. Isn't that how we'll take notice? when there are no longer enough trees to fashion a lone, crisp fiver. In the meantime, a knee in each time zone and feet hanging off an equator's edge, we slide off each other like sheets of ice, grey foam blooming out of our freeview boxes and changing the channel to something other than houses turning into banana floats. The news, a rubble of confusion, talks of burning rubber and forests, each word plush with jargon. A politician licking his reptilian lip tells us that the Department for Climate Change must have its budget reduced. Another way of saying, keep the air clear only for fighter jets, and the shooting stars our children call drones. I am a disbeliever in any kind of prophecy, philosophy, ideology that doesn't leave space for life.